from this point of view, you're now ready to pull in products and push them over to TikTok shop. As a quick overview, you have four tabs here. You have a dashboard that's going to give you kind of a list of the status and the, um, and the tasks that are running. So this could be order synchronization. This could be product synchronization. Um, you could revert to this to make sure that everything is completed. Products, after we pull in products, all the listings will be here, both ones that are directly coming in from Shopify that you haven't pushed over to TikTok Shop and the ones that are fully synced between Shopify and TikTok Shop. We have a categories tab, which is super important that I'll get to in a very uh, uh, in a couple of minutes, and then a orders tab. That's gonna give you a history of the orders coming from TikTok Shop and seeking back into Shopify. So let's jump into products. The first action, the first time you do this, we're actually gonna pull products from the store um, by date where the products were updated. So if you just know the products that you wanna update, the easiest way is to update, update those in Shopify, either change the description a little bit or change the title a little bit, and then from there you can actually just pull in by date. What I'm gonna do is actually pull in products, all the products that I have, let's say, you know, all the way five years back until today. Confirm. So the task has been submitted, as you can see here. We're going to go to the dashboard. We saw that it's completed. We'll back into products, and you can see that I have all of these products that are now pulled into TikTok Shop, or sorry, into our connector, which is great. Um, and I believe one of 10, there is one of these that I made active. So you can see most of them are archived in the status of Shopify. I have one here that's active that I actually wanna push over to TikTok Shop. Before doing so, the most important part of this is actually making sure that the category mapping is correct. Um, so what you wanna make sure within Shopify is a couple of things for the products that you wanna pull over. Firstly, you want to make sure this is a product that I'm pushing over that it has a weight greater than one pound. So this is uh, a snowboard. I put 20 pounds. Great. You have inventory on hand so that uh, TikTok can actually be able to, to locate that and, and, and sell it. And then most importantly, product type. So this is what we call category within Shopify. You say product type. Some people leave this blank if you guys use product types in a different way. Hopefully most of your products will have product type. If not, you have to go in and fill it out. From then, our connector actually try to, to predict what product type is, is mapping to within TikTok shop. It's about 90% accurate. Sometimes within food and beverage, within fashion and apparel, it might go to a separate uh, category. So you wanna make sure you change this before you push the product in, or else it might go under review, or it might be listed in a different category, and it'll be more difficult to find the type of item that you're selling. So snowboard is going to snowboarding. Perfect, don't mind that. Um, it's not a direct one-to-one -one match, so the categories in Shopify are very different from TikTok, so as long as it's pretty much relevant in the direction you wanna go in, great. If it's something different, you can actually drop down and select the different ones and make sure it's the right category. Now we're gonna go back into products. We're going to, I believe I had the one called TikTok. Yep, so this is the product I wanna push over to TikTok shop. I can either select it and bulk do this if you have three, four, or 10, or thousands of items. Or on the right hand side, you can actually just push product. You can see right here, push product task has been submitted. I'll go to the dashboard. It looks like it was completed. Let's go to the products again. Back, search for the product, synced, awesome. So synchronization succeeded. That's exactly what we wanna see. We'll go back into the TikTok seller center. We'll go products, manage product. Got it, got it. And now you can see the product is right here. Now you'll be able to uh, manage pretty much everything within Shopify when it comes to description, title, inventory, pricing, orders that come through. Um, you will be able to live in, in Shopify, which is a great thing. The only thing that you would have to log back in is if you make sales and someone does returns or refunds as of right now. Um, other than that, the product sync is working perfectly um, and we could even Jump. And that's about it. You can see within four or five minutes, setting up a custom app within Shopify, you'll be able to pull in products into our connector. And then from our connector, you'll be able to push products over into TikTok shop. Um, there are some nuances. So if you're in fashion apparel, you'll probably want to update a size chart so you could throw in an image of your size chart. If you're in food and beverage categories, um, it's actually gonna require you to upload a, a nutritional facts or a label so they understand exactly what uh, ingredients are in 
your 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 product um, and that sometimes takes a little bit longer to approve but we haven't seen anything past a couple hours so hope this was helpful from a connection and onboarding and installation perspective our emails right here in the video so please feel free to reach out at any time um, and uh, we look forward to helping you out with your TikTok shop